Hello, this is Bridget Ralph with Divine Essentials. All right, guys, we are doing a pick a card for what is this person on your mind thinking when it comes to you? How do they see you? What do they perceive about you? All of those things. I'm using my Divine Tarot, which is available on my Etsy shop as well as many others. And I do have a little special happening right now. Uh, 20 minute readings for $22 back in 24 hours. I'm going to um, tell you guys that, but there's a lot of people out there, so I might have to cut it off if I get too many within, you know, a short amount of time, just because there's only so many hours in a day. So um, I'm going to do this first. All right, so number 10 is here, number 5 is here, and number 1 is here. So you choose the one that you feel called to, okay? And we're going to start off with pile number one to see what is this person thinking, feeling, and wanting when it comes to you. This was a request that came in on my Instagram the other day as well. It was just one-on-one -on, -one on the clock um, and ten there. So more confirmations for you. Now the first card we have is the two of pentacles. And the two of pentacles is like I'm juggling a lot, okay? i got a lot going on in my life. And I feel like this could be more so like I've got a lot going on in my mind when I think about you. I could have a lot going on in my emotions when I think about you. There's just a lot that I'm feeling, a lot that I'm dealing with. And I may be overwhelmed with this. You know, when I think of that that energy, it's just like there's so many things like doop, boop, 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 doop, doop, boop. They may feel like they're crazy. They may feel like they just don't even know how to approach this, which is common within these types of connections where people are overwhelmed. They're stressed out. Um, they feel like like this is maybe too good to be true or that it's so intense I can't even like handle it so I, and and with the 10 the 10 is about wholeness completion and oneness so I feel like these cycles that you may be going through with this person may be something that you are coming to a close with um, you could be starting to close out those times like maybe you've been feeling that way and again when we talk about twin flames or soulmates or people that we are interested in there's usually mirroring happening in those situations so if you've been feeling overwhelmed or chaotic in your mind like one day you may be like I hate this person I love this person um, I miss this person no I don't like this person's great for me no they're not you you know think about that because whatever you're thinking feeling and wanting is usually mirrored back to you in some way or another I always call it like a funhouse mirror because it's not usually like very clear that, oh yeah, this is exactly what's going on on the opposite side, but there's usually something familiar or similar happening on the other side. The next card is the hangman. So I feel like this person may have been stuck as well due to this, you know, that this could be keeping them stuck and this could be keeping you stuck too. You know, like maybe you're going back and forth, like maybe I should just let this go, maybe I should move on. Um, maybe I should just forget about this and I feel like this is maybe something that they they experience on their side as well because when you when it's just like there's just so much going on in your energy your emotions your mind a lot of times you just want to shut down from it and you can get stuck you know I'm thinking of like ADHD paralysis when we're like so overwhelmed we've got a huge list of tasks to complete so we just sit there and we freeze okay that's also a trauma response that many people go through so this person may just be traumatized and you could be traumatized. You could have been through a lot of difficult relationships in your life. You could have had a weird upbringing. They may have had that same type of shit happening in their world. And that can end up putting us into like fight or, fri fight or flight or freeze, you know, fawn. Where it's like, okay, I just don't even know how to react, so I'm not going to react at all. But the hangman is also about changing our perspective. So I feel like there's most likely a lesson, again, within all of this. This is probably something that you needed to go through to change your perspective about love and about people and about what's right and what isn't right, what you deserve and what you don't deserve. And if it's truly a divine counterpart or a twin flame, then a lot of times that's that's what that's all about. You go through the difficult things to learn the difficult lessons so that you can heal those difficult things and lessons and close those cycles out and change your perspective about things so that you demand better going forward and that you can handle things that may be difficult for you to handle but are necessary to handle in this world not everything is easy especially the things that are worth having so i feel like this person could be shifting their perspective when it comes to you um and they may also just be changing their perspective up about what's important to them you know like what should i be juggling in my life who should i feel is most important and what should i be doing with my time and my energy then we have the five of wands so again, this is another card of conflict and competition and chaos and all of that, but we do have these other two cards here. So I feel like in this situation, again, 
the both of you may be like going to the worst case scenarios. You may be thinking like, oh, they must have other people or maybe they do have other people in their life that have put them into a, a standstill. Um, and again, that could be friends, family, lovers, whatever. It could be people from their past that have conflicted them and made them feel like I'm afraid of love. So I don't want you to come in here because like it's so intense. If you break my heart, it's going to hurt 10 times worse than those people in the past that I didn't feel that way with. I'm also picking up that they could feel that you are seeing other people or that there are other people that are interested in you and that you could be juggling more than one option. They could also be changing their perspective because of that. Like if I don't do something here, I'm not going to have the chance to do something. Like this person's going to go off with someone else because I've just been hanging around doing nothing when it comes to this person and I probably shouldn't do that if I do care. You know, I need to get my priorities straight. I need to look at things in a different way here because sometimes we don't know what we have until it's no longer available and I know a lot of the divine feminines are chaser energy in the start of their journey. They chase the masculine down. They're always available for him. They make it way too easy for a man. A man doesn't want somebody that's just like always throwing themselves at them in most cases. You know, sometimes they do, but not for the right reasons. And again, you may have just get made yourself available because you cared and you loved them and it was so intense and you were like drawn to them magnetically. They're probably drawn to you magnetically too. But when you make things too easy, sometimes people take advantage of that or they, you know, put it to the side. They see other people, they do other things because it's like, oh, well, I could just have that any day of the week. So I don't really need to put that on the top of my priority list. But I feel like if they're starting to feel that their stagnancy and they're holding back and they're juggling all these other things has now put it into a place of, oh, wait, there's other people out there that I could lose this person to. I may not ever have the opportunity or chance to be with them because I've done this stuff. That could be helping to change their perspective in, all right, I don't want to lose them. And especially if you've gotten a hold on your energy and you're not, you know, actively chasing after them or actively pursuing them or just idly waiting around for them to return to your life, that could be helping them to see things in a new way of like, oh, yeah. This person isn't just going to endlessly be there for me. Oh, yeah, this person has healed and changed and they're seeing things differently and they're getting their priorities straight. So if I don't want to lose them, I need to step up to the plate here. I need to actually do something and, and give an emotional offer. I can't hold all of my love and all of my care and all of this stuff inside of me forever and expect good outcomes. So with the Ace of Cups, I feel like this person may want to have a start with you, a new fresh start with you. They may have an emotional offer for you, or they could even just be rekindling something inside of them or re realizing, you know, seeing things differently. If they've seen you entertaining other people or they're seeing you juggle other options or they're seeing that that's a, a possibility that you're going to have new love somewhere else, that could be pushing them to make a decision to actually take action so that they don't lose you to another person. Okay, and the Ace of Cups is a fresh start. They're all about new beginnings. So again, when it comes to you, I feel like they're also juggling this idea. Now, if they're in a relationship with someone else, they may be like, I've got to get out of here. Like, I'm just stuck here. I'm, I'm causing chaos here. I'm causing competition here. I'm causing confusion. And I'm blocking myself from what I truly want because it, it feels like this person's not happy in their in their current circumstance. You know, it's like this this isn't the energy that most people are like, oh yeah, this is the best day ever. It doesn't look like they're having a great time. They want something different to be manifesting. And with the four of wands, this is the twin flame eleven eleven union. This is that that healthy foundation. So if they are in another connection or they have been dealing with other people or they've been you know, distracting themselves with other shit and keeping themselves stuck within this chaos. I feel like they, they don't like this anymore. It's not fulfilling to them. They want a healthy foundation. They want something that's going to go forward. They want their other half. They want the divine union in this world. And I feel like this is, this is where they're feeling, especially because the progression of the cards. It's like this may be where it started, but this may be where it's going. And again, this doesn't mean like just because they show up, they're like, yeah, let's get married. I wouldn't go into that place. Again, it may be the end of the cycle with the 10 there of this type of energy. It's a new beginning. It's a new opportunity to do things right, to keep your energy balanced, to not go into the old patterns or to be like, let me chase you down. Let me see what we can do here. Take it fucking slow. The Knight of Pentacles is slow moving energy. Okay, so if they do come towards you and they're going slow, don't let that trigger your anxiety or insecurities or 
you know, immediately assume that it's going to, you know, wind up the way that it's had before, especially if you've changed. And if you haven't changed, work on changing so that you can handle things going slow because fast isn't healthy. Love bombing is fast. Toxic love is fast. You want it to go slow so you don't wind up in these burdens so that you're not carrying around more than you can chew and that it doesn't end up getting dropped and then you end up in the sadness again or the I feel so isolated and alone. And so you don't end up with this dude, the player, you know? We don't want players. We don't want ghosters. We don't want, you know, the F boys. We want people who show up and, and show up fully, who make that decision to come down that path and don't bring a bunch of burdens on that path with them, okay? So you may have to face your fears around going slow or, you know, um, just things that naturally progress, especially if you have a deep connection with somebody or a, a very magnetic attraction to somebody, you may want to rush through things or you may want to pick up where things left off. But I feel like you're going to have to get creative and how you go through this energy so that that type of stuff doesn't happen to you again. And you can have a passionate new beginning. You can have a loving new beginning, but you want one that's not going to end up in the in the heartbreak. OK, all right. So we're going to move on at 11 minutes to the second pile with five. And we're going to see what's going on with the energy, what this thing, person thinks of you, feels about you, all of that type of stuff. The first card out is the Empress. Empress is a lovery, nurturery, you know, mother type of energy. She, she takes care of you. She loves you. She's an embodiment of all the queens. So her energy is right. She, her love is right. Her mind is right. Her money is right. You know, she knows what she brings to the table. She takes care of others, but she also takes care of herself in the home and the children. So I feel like this person may look at you as like the mother of their children or the, the perfect person that they would like to have sharing their life with. Like, you're the type that's going to take care of me and nurture me and, and I will be the one that's going to take care of you on the other side of that. You know, I'm going to protect you. I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to, you, you make my meals and I bring the food. You know what I mean? Just like, and it doesn't have to necessarily be that way, but that's like the traditional type of mindset, which a lot of people do want. I think we've gotten to a society now where everybody's like, oh, that's so, so sexist and da, 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 da. And it's like, it's just naturally bred into you from the beginning of fucking time because that's how it was. The men went out, they caught the food, they brought it home after they killed it and you did the rest because they went out and did all that, all right? Just because we live in a society where you can work and do all that, that's fine. But there's still a need for the feminine energy to, to nurture and a need for the masculine energy to protect and provide, you know? So I feel like this person does see you as the other half of their energy, you know, that's somebody that's going to complete the things that they may not feel completed within. They may feel like I need something that's going to fulfill this other part of me that's not feeling fulfilled. Ten of Swords. I feel like this person may also be worried because if you're in your Empress energy and maybe you once weren't, and I'm seeing the five there, which is all about change. They could feel that you have changed into the better version of yourself, into a more powerful version of yourself, and that you may no longer want to nurture them or take care of them or be there for them. They may feel like they, their, their ships have sailed with you or that you um, are giving your time and energy to those who are going to be showing up in the ways that maybe they couldn't before. Okay, so I feel like they could be concerned that they're going to lose their opportunity with you that you, you're going to move on and you're going to have a good time and somebody else is going to be the one providing and protecting and pursuing you in the ways that they couldn't or didn't. And and if they couldn't and didn't, let's just be open here and say that if it's your twin flame, your divine counterpart, then there was a reason for that, most likely. You may not have allowed them to or you could have been too much into your pursuing energy or too much into your, like, I'm going to be in the opposition of what I should be in to allow for these things to naturally unfold in a balanced way. But I feel like you're now in that right energy and they could actually be concerned that like, oh, like it may be too late for me now because your value has increased, your worth has increased. They're going to recognize that about you and they may still be struggling within themselves thinking like, have I messed up my opportunity here? And with the hermit, I feel like they could feel like, again, that they've lost you, that you are... You're no longer interested or you're no longer doing the things you once did. You've changed. With that five there, I feel like there's a lot of changes that have occurred in you that have allowed you to become the empress, that have allowed you to become a healthier version of yourself that's not chasing things that are unhealthy or you're not giving to your own demise, that you're actually taking care of yourself because that's what the true empress does. She doesn't give to her own demise. She doesn't nurture everybody but herself. She doesn't allow people 
to do things that hurt her and then stay there and, and be, you know, naive and silly and, and keep showing up to that. So again, I feel like this person may feel like you've pulled your energy back. You've gone within, you've done the shadow work, you've done the healing that was necessary for you most likely to change and arise up into your empress energy. But that's actually kind of nerve wracking to them or just making them feel like, oh, have I... Have my ship sailed here? Is is it too late for me now? Has this person healed in such a way that they may no longer want me? And that's their own insecurities. That's their own stuff, okay? And I feel like you may still have insecurities when it comes to this. You may still feel um, hurt by things that have ended within the situation. You may have withdrawn your energy just to protect your energy so you could rise up and heal. Because if whatever was happening before kept leading to painful endings, you have a choice of bleeding out or healing up and with the four of swords this is a card of healing this is a card of meditation this is a card of going within and doing what's necessary for your own highest good and for your highest best so i feel like this person has recognized that you have healed you have grown and you've withdrawn who you were before you have changed you have become a better version of yourself and you're doing things that are making you actually way more attractive to this person queen of wands is sexy magnetic charismatic She's also the entrepreneur energy, like everybody kind of leans on her. She knows her shit. She knows what she's doing. She's out there. She's working hard, but she's magnetic within it too. So I feel like this person is very sexually drawn to you, very emotionally connected to you. Um, they, I feel like they are feeling a magnetic pull towards you, but what's holding them back is your withdrawal, okay? So if you've withdrawn your energy and done some work on yourself and taken care of yourself, this is actually kind of nervous for them. They're like, I don't know. I don't know what I should do here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like they would like to plant the seeds of potential with you to grow things, but they, they may just be hesitant to try, okay? Because your energy has shifted so much, you've changed so much, they may be afraid. If People are always afraid of, what if I try to plant this seed and it doesn't grow? What if I reach out to them and they ignore me? What if, what if they do to me what I did to them, you know? What if they ghost me? What if they ignore me? What if they, you know, have somebody else? Whatever has happened, I feel like they're afraid to attempt to plant seeds here because they know what's already gone down and they may be afraid that they, their chance of growing something with you has gone away, but it doesn't stop the fact that they would like to, okay? So the Ace of Cups is here again, was in the first pile as well. This is a new start. This is a new beginning. This is a new emotional investment, and I feel like they do want to try again. They don't like to be in the Ten of Swords energy. I don't think that they're enjoying that Hermit energy. Um, I think they enjoy the fact that you've healed and you're, and you're Empress and you're sexy and you're passionate and you're powerful, but they're still nervous about how, to, yeah, Two of Swords. They're still nervous about what to do. How do I do this? How do I come forward? How do I fix this after making the decisions and the mistakes that I made before? Are they going to receive me or am I going to be left on red? Are they going to want to talk to me or am I going to have to go through, you know, because they could be knowing that their karma could be like, oh, well, you know, I ghosted them or I did this or I did that. And they may feel like they're, they're not deserving of your time and attention anymore, especially because of how much you've healed. So their anxiety is holding them back from taking any action. And I feel like this is self-sabotage as well, because it's like, if you know you don't want something to end, if you know that someone has healed and you know someone has grown and you know that you should make things right and change whatever's happened, but you don't, you're self-sabotaging. You're wearing a mask, pretending like you don't care when you do. Um, not taking the action that your soul is pushing you to do. Not following the heart. Not, not taking the things forward that would get you to where you want to go because they could still be having a little bit of ego that needs to go through an ego death. They may even need to have a little bit of a lesson. So they could be dealing with other people in their lives that are teaching them those lessons. They could have gone through painful endings or, you know, rejection and shit that has um, caused them to change their perspective. So if you were here for pile one, you may have stuck around for pile two because I am getting some of the same cards here, some of the similar energy. And it's I've, I feel like basically they do want to make a romantic offer to you, but they're holding themselves back and they're waiting right now because they're not sure what your response is going to be because your energy has shifted a lot. You've changed a lot. You've ended the cycle I'm chasing, ended the cycle of trying to make this person care. You've healed this heartbreak. And I feel like they're slowly trying to rise up to that energy of the emperor to be, you know, the, the right person to manifest a connection in a partnership together of balance and harmony and alignment with each other. So they probably do see you as their two of cups and they do want to have a passionate new beginning. I think they would like to, you know, 
uh, reconnect with you and celebrate with you, but the insecurities and the unknown aspects of what might happen when I try is holding them back from trying. It's holding them back from, from presenting you something in the tangible world. So if you've been waiting for some sort of apology or waiting for some sort of phone call or waiting for something to manifest here, I feel like it's more so their subconscious beliefs and their fears and their insecurities and their doubts that are holding them back from taking a leap of faith and they need to find the strength to overcome that because even if they do try and they fail, it's like you, you're you never going to know. So staying stuck is, is either stay stuck or try, you know, it's either face the fear or move on with yourself but I feel like right now they're not doing those things they're stuck in illusion they're stuck in confusion they're holding themselves back they feel magnetically drawn to you I don't believe that there's like they're they don't want to play with you anymore I feel like their passion has grown grown for you they do want the happily ever after with you they want to move into calmer waters with you uh, but you're gonna have to trust your intuition with this and know that this is a collective reading so it may not resonate for everybody it may not be the truth for everybody you're gonna have to Weigh it out and see, are they being authentic or are they bringing me more burdens? Do I have healthy enough boundaries to reconnect and reconcile with this person? And can I see that they're actually choosing me for justice and balance or are they just coming in to repeat a cycle? And if I know my value and worth, then I will be able to recognize these things and I can express myself with those healthy boundaries and that self-respect so I can have the Four of Wands, the Twin Flame 11-11 Union, and I can move forward. But... They also need to do that, too. They also need to recognize, like, she may have boundaries, but that doesn't mean she's going to be hateful or hurtful. Just because I did something that was not great doesn't mean she's going to do it back to me. I've got to either man up and take the chance or hold myself back. And I think you've both been wounded, but it, it takes two to tango. So you may have done things in this connection, too, that led to problems, most likely. But again, feel like these chapters are over. This cycle could be closing out. And there is a truth that this person wants to speak to you about the fact that you would make them happy and that they would like to come together for some balance here. That they want to work together with you to, to have something of value and that they may be sick of holding themselves back. They're ready to change just as you have changed to the single, sexy, confident, independent version of yourself. And it's going to be up to them to decide to come communicate that to you. So we're going to move on to pile number three. Thank you very much. Let's see, we've got number one here. So let's see what we've got for the energies. All right, so we got the King of Pentacles. I feel like whoever you're asking about or thinking about at this time, their their desire for you um, or their energy towards you is more stable. It's more committed. It's more loyal. It's more like physical, material. Like they may have been working on themselves. They may have got themselves into a better position financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, energetically, all the lees, you know. They're, they're in a better position, I feel, to feel confident about presenting something to you or making an offer to you or being a good guy, you know. They may have not had their finances right or they may not have had their inner value and worth right in the past. And I feel like they're ready for a fresh start because they now feel more capable. They feel more strong. They feel more like more of a masculine, I can provide, I can protect, I can pursue, and I can feel good about it because I, I may have turned a new leaf or I may have got my mind right could have let go of the things that were keeping me from feeling that way or I could have worked on myself inwardly and done the shadow work and all of the stuff that was holding me back or making me feel like I wasn't ready for that they could have even just grown up you know men take a long time to grow up and then the page of pentacles goes right along with this pentacles are about physical material offers and the pages are vulnerable and authentic and this is like a literal engagement so Again, I'm getting the energy that this person may be more so in an energy of like, I don't want to play games. I don't want to be, you know, trying it out with all these people out here. They may have recognized that there's a lot of people on the planet, but a lot of the people on the planet aren't the right fucking people. They don't have good values. They, they're not going to give to me what I want. You know, I want something stable. I want something secure. I want something of value. I want someone that uh, meets me, you know, at the same level and... Again, you may have already been there and they may not have been. Or you may have both needed to work on your inner value. Like, I feel like you may have both been there, but you may have just needed to recognize that you were. That you both had something to bring to the table. That you both have balance between you. That it's something that could be good. That it could go far further than the places that other places have gone just based off of who you are. Maybe you share the same type of values, the same mindset, the same type of way of thinking about the future. 
or the same kind of like we both want this out of life or we both don't want this out of life and I feel like this person may want to be vulnerable with you and authentic with you and let you know this this is the page of cups so again this is an offer and this is an emotional offer the cups is our emotion so and we got two pages here so I feel like this person does want to tell you or they do want to to make something known to you they want to either engagement like like let's and this could be a date or or marry me you know what I mean depending on where you are with this person but I also am getting that like it's more than that okay it's it's like a vulnerable like I've always known that I like you or I've always known that it should be you or I've always known that we've had this deep connection or I always knew that you were like the woman for me or the man for me depending on the sex I'm just going based off of the energy of the cards by the man and the woman here but it's like I've always known that you you make make sense but maybe I didn't feel like I made sense at that time. Maybe I didn't feel like I was in my right energy to give to you what you deserved. Because then we have the fucking Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a spiritual level commitment. So deep down in this person's soul, it's most likely that they knew this. They may have thought it in their mind. They may have thought that they weren't valuable enough. They may have thought that they weren't ready for it. They may have thought that maybe they were crazy or that they should explore and try other options. But I feel like deep down inside of them, they probably always kind of had a sense that like there's a reason for the for the fact that you met each other, the reason that they felt the way they felt, or a reason why they would even want to work on themselves to before they would present themselves to you in this way, because they may have not have felt ready to present themselves to you in that way. They may have needed to change things and end cycles to really truly give you a new start. So some of you could have been here for all three piles, but we also have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is ultimate fulfillment. You know, this is financial fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. This is a happily ever after on steroids, right? So the Ten of Pentacles is all of the things that you've ever wanted. And look at all the pentacle energy here and this commitment energy here. This is like, I'm, I'm ready to tell you the truth. I'm ready to put my effort in. I'm ready to give you more. Um, and I'm ready to have everything that I know we could have together because I know you're the one that I would like to have that with. Okay. <clears throat> and look at that. Ace of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck the first time I started shuffling it. And then it just out. So Ace of Pentacles is another ace, another new beginning. This person wants to start over and they want it to be of value. They they don't, there was a lot of aces in the other pile, sorry. I'm like, if you didn't watch those ones, there was aces in the other piles. But again, it's more pentacle energy. I want to start over. I want something of value here. I don't want to play games with you. I don't want to keep going back and forth. I'm ready to be the emperor. I'm ready to be the king. I'm ready to be the man that takes action, the man that pursues, the man that provides, the man that loves you, the man that, that shows up for you. And it may be because you've been showing up for you with the nine of pentacles. It's more pentacle energy. It's more value and worth. You have healthy boundaries. You have self-respect. You've worked on yourself. You probably worked on your mind, your energy. She's the pre-empress energy. The only reason she's not the empress is because the emperor's not there. So it's like the emperor of your dreams wants to show up for you, to take action with you, to love you, and to pursue you in a healthy way. So you can have your happily ever after because you are two of a kind. You are emperor and empress. Okay? This person may have held back in the past. They may have been a fearful in the past. And again, I feel like it's because they didn't feel ready. They didn't feel secure in themselves. They didn't feel worthy in themselves. They may not have felt like they had enough money or had enough knowledge or had enough experience or had enough to meet you somewhere and I feel like you probably thought that back because that's what most likely happens in these situations is both people struggle with inner value and inner worth you both break each other's hearts because there's lessons to be learned but you both make each other happy when justice is served so you both need to choose each other to put an end to the cycle of these things that may have not have played out so well in the past um, you know, the sleepless nights, the anxiety, you know, your anxiety may have made you act out in certain ways in the past that weren't very becoming of you that could have dropped down your value and worth in your own energy and then was reflected back to you by the way that they treated you. If you were throwing yourself at them or you're feeling rejected by them or you're just not in your right vibrations, stuck in those karmic cycles, most likely caused by childhood and caused by previous relationships and caused by just living on this fucking planet with all the bullshit that we got on it. But you've now established those healthier boundaries. You've worked on yourself. You've become magnetically attractive. They feel that draw to you and they've done the same. 
if this is truly the one that you're meant to be with, you guys will come to these places at the same time. And I feel like this is a time where they would like to now take action to communicate, travel to you, and work on this with you because you both have found the strength to do what was necessary to overcome the things that were holding you back. You both needed to change your perspective. You both needed to put up your healthy boundaries. You both needed to be the magician in some sort of way and, you know, um, manifest in a new way, Okay. And the Wheel of Fortune is here with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like the universe is helping you to manifest a new start of emotional fulfillment and to let go of the old, worn-out situation. I feel like this current person could be looking at you. You could be looking at them. And they see that the love that you have is something that they would like to receive. You may intuitively know this or feel this. Or you may have always intuitively known this and felt this. Just like they were feeling coming through in the beginning of this. And I feel like you both know that you could work together well to make things happen in this world that, you know, most people would like to have happen. But sometimes we struggle to make happen, especially if we're by ourselves or with the wrong person. So, again, I feel like this person has probably made a decision about you that they would want to work with you. They want to put these things down. I feel like they made that judgment call that they don't want to keep running away from this or avoiding this or pretending like this doesn't exist. So they may want to take a leap of faith here to bring light to this situation, to co clearly communicate to you and make the wishes come true so that there's no longer any of that bullshit that may have been once manifesting in it. But um, you both probably have been wounded through this. You may probably have both went through tower moments in this and a new start is available to you. But take your time, okay? Um, if there's still illusions lingering around this or fears and insecurities, you're going to have to take your time so those things don't blow it up, all right? But I do feel like clarity will be coming to you very soon. So thank you very much. If you would like to get a private reading, I have some available right now at this time um, for $22.00. 20-minute readings back in 24 hours, but I'm only going to keep them open until they are too full to be able to return in 24 hours. Okay, thank you very much. In Monday, namaste.